So in this lesson, we're going to be learning some Boogie Woogie Blues. So Boogie Woogie Blues, we're kind of trying to emulate that old um, Boogie Woogie style piano. And um, it's real easy to do in the key of E um, on guitar. It's really pretty easy in, in any key, but you don't have to stretch as much in the key of E. So we're going to start with that. <clears throat> so it's a regular 12 bar blues pattern. So we're using E. A and B, one, four, and five. Um, so it sounds like what I played in the intro. And once you learn the pattern, it's pretty much the same on every chord. So we're just playing an, an E5, an, an E power chord, open E, second fret, uh, A string. You're gonna hit that twice, then you're gonna play three, four, on the low E string. Then you're gonna hit open E again twice, and then put third finger on the fourth fret of the A string once, and then back to the E. So it's. And you can play this slow too, and it sounds good, but the boogie woogie stuff is typically faster. So just start slow. So four times on E, four bars. Then we're going to go to A for two bars. Same exact pattern, you're just moving everything down. Go back to E for two bars. Now we got to go to B, and now things change a little bit because we don't have, you know, a lower open B string like we do on the E or the A chord. So now you're basically playing part of a, like if you played a B major chord here, you're playing these two notes together. And then you're gonna go five, six. And then six on the D string with the four on the G. So it's. So that's how you can still do this boogie woogie lick in, on any chord. So if you wanna do, I'm getting off, off of the actual chart here. Just showing you, say you wanted to do it uh, on a C chord. You'd play like, find your C major chord, move your finger up to here, and then it's, it's just, just the same pattern. So I can do it anywhere. So if, if you need to do it in a different key, you could play it that way. So in this case, in the key of E, we do B for one bar. You go back to A for one bar, and then back to E for one bar. One extra hit. The last bar, the 12th bar, the downbeat is E, and then you go to a regular B7 chord. Da, 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 da. Okay, and that's how it ends. So the ending. start all over, okay? In case you don't know, B7 is two, one, two, open B string, two on the high E string. If you can't get all that happening, you could just do two, one, two in the open B string and just don't let that high E string ring out. Because then to get that sound, you don't want that. Or a little cheat if you can't get the pinky on right away is start with these and, you know, add your pinky on. So that's example one of a uh, boogie woogie blues. So I'm going to play that faster so you can hear what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. And 
so on, okay? So now example two is actually a little easier. Um, you could do it like this. So it's a little simpler. And I kind of muffed the B there a little bit because when you try to play a full B power chord and do that, that's quite a stretch to hit that flat seven there. So I'll show you, it really, you could just go like that. That's how it is a little easier to play. Um, so all we're doing here, same bass, same power chord. Two on there, two with the four, two with the five, two with the four. to the A. Back to the E. Now when you get to the, the B, you do it like we did it before, but you just don't do the, you just do. Then six, seven, six, the same way. So you can really explore a lot of different ways to play a boogie woogie. You can use any combination of those things I just showed you. The thing, that going from three to four, the four here and the five here. So you could go, so I'm going three, four, five, four. Or you could go. So you can mix it up any way you want. And it doesn't have to be the same pattern throughout the song. You can mix up the pattern within the progression. So it's kind of a basic beginner uh, boogie woogie blues in the key of E.